Okay, what's something not obviously sexual that turns me on? Not, not obviously, obviously sexual, sexual that turns you me on. Hey, I'm Dave Franco. And I'm Allison Bree, and this is the GQ Couples Quiz. I like to go first, and I think that you're gonna be better at this than me. I think so, so let's too. get that out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> first thing, we'll start with a very easy one. Give it. What's my middle name? Bree. <laughs> Your real last name is Skirmerhorn. Thank you. S-C-H-E-R-M-E-R-H-O-R-N. Oh my god, honey. <laughs> What's the age difference between my sister and me? Two years. And more specifically... You're two years younger, is that what you mean? No, I mean, like, uh, how do we like to refer to our age difference? 18 months? 22 months. 22 months. So close to two years. I don't years. think we've ever talked about that. Get Continue. Half a point. Okay. When and what was my acting debut? I want to say it was Born. Which, oh, my uh, on screen. So we're going with my on screen acting debut, not not counting theater come on. or any child childhood. We're going with on screen. It was Born. It was an evil fetus, demon fetus. That's right. There was something really gross happening. Well, the demon fetus, at one point my character has sex with a guy uh -huh. and the demon fetus eats his penis. That's what I was thinking of. At another point, penis eating. I'm like making out with my roommate <laughs> and she kisses down my body and the demon fetus bursts out my pregnant belly and pulls her tongue out of her mouth until she dies. You could say that and then Ridley was Scott was maybe inspired by Born for Alien? Yeah, I think so. I think that would be a fair <laughs> Assessment. Even okay. though Born came after, it's like he knew that he that knows. was coming. He knows. Good answer. Thank you. Oh, this is an intro. Okay, okay. Where was our first date? Probably the first real date mm -hmm. was at that little Italian spot on Larchmont that is now closed. That was our first LA date. That was obviously. like back to real life. We're both like in our normal routines. Follow up, what did I think of you? Now, look. I hope you're not gonna bring up what I think you are. I absolutely am. Okay. What um, potential error do you think you committed on that, our very first official If you date? remember, I was 26 when we met. I just didn't know what to do. In fairness, and we had hung out a lot. By, yes. uh, by the time we yes. had our first official date, we had already hung been um, hanging out a bit. We were late to dinner. Mm-hmm. And uh, our first date in LA. I was freaked out that we were late, and instead of coming up to the door, I honked on the. <laughs> you get negative points. Three points for admitting want, an embarrassing I don't detail. want that sympathy three. That's a sympathy two three. Two points, two points, okay. not three, not three. We know my max is really two. I just want you to have all the points. Thank you. What am I most scared of? I would say. Scary movies. I think horror movies are up yeah. there where we've gone on a progression throughout our relationship <laughs> where I love horror movies. And at first you wanted nothing to do with them. And then we got to the stage where I was like, okay, this one's actually good and it's worth you being scared for the next two weeks. That's true. And now we're writing horror movies together. <laughs> That's true. But I suggest that we watch a horror movie almost every night and it's a little too much. That is also true. Yeah. And yet, I don't know if you're gonna get points for this, honey. The dark. dark. <laughs> the dark. Scared of the dark. The dark. <laughs> it's like less the horror movie, it's then at night when we're asleep and I see into the dark closet yeah, and I'm yeah. always like, it's gonna get me from the closet in the dark. I have a hammer in our, our nightstand, just in case. What good is that gonna do me on my side of the bed? I got you, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Between you and me, uh -huh. who's the better actor? <laughs> I can confidently say you. Hey. I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give it to you. How can you tell when I'm upset? You get a little quiet, which is rare for you. Um, you usually constantly filling the space. I can tell just how you're reacting to what I'm saying, and then I'll, I'll initially try to like dip a toe in by like making a joke. And when you don't react, uh, I immediately basically say we need to confront this and let's get past it immediately. Now I know the joke tactic. <laughs> That's correct. Yes, you get a um, point for that for sure. What are my favorite kind of flowers? I'm gonna say you love orchids. 
Look. But they're not your favorites. <laughs> Let me finish. <laughs> I know we had an orchid in our house for a long time. Orchids are our cat Otis's, Otis's favorite. favorite. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really an orchid gal. It's so. What is your favorite flower? Ranunculus. How am I supposed to remember that word? I know. <laughs> What's my favorite form of self care? Oh. I feel like I have one and it's pretty specific. Oh, okay. And I do it a lot. I got it. Your weird blanket heating thing. <laughs> Is it a zip up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Plop yourself in front of the TV, zip yourself up, and plug it in. <laughs> and what does it do for you? It's an infrared sauna blanket. There you go. But what do I most often watch when I'm doing the sauna blanket? Kardashians? Definitely. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's two points. Can I try it? Is it weird that we both share the same infrared bed? No, you could try it because you have to either wear clothes in it yes. or you you do it as I prefer yes. in the nude uh -huh. and there's like a towel also like a little towel sleeping bag blanket oh. that you get in. And then I, I wash that immediately after every time, but also I have two of them, so you could use one. And yeah. I have a spray, I clean the inside. Okay, all right. I'm gonna go. Very sanitary. What do you think is the very first part of my morning Ooh. bathroom routine? And it's new-ish, and I tried to get you to do it. Got it. <laughs> the tongue scraper, <laughs> yeah. Do you do that every day? Yes, and it has to be first thing. <sighs> You don't want to drink any water. I get a little grossed out by it. And how much more gross is it to just let that stuff stay in the back of your I mouth? I don't know it's like, there. No one else used the tongue scraper. People use the tongue scraper. <laughs> What's our favorite show to watch together? Do you know this? I mean, there's like uh, it, it, the it, current, it, like most zeitgeist. Current White Lotus. What might be unique about when we would watch White Lotus together? What? Uh, <laughs> you, during the theme song, the opening theme song, you would slowly get out of bed and then start doing an interpretive dance all over the bedroom, which would culminate in you taking off your shirt. Then we would watch the episode. <laughs> I think that you're <laughs> Would I, would I do that for every episode? You did it for every single episode. <laughs> okay, last question. Mm -hmm. What do I like most about you? I just got a little emotional. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm actually embarrassed that I got a little emotional right now. Honey. Um, I think that you like that I'm a good listener and this is so embarrassing. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, I love it. I'm very curious and care about people a lot, and my friends and my family. <laughs> right, I think gotta for move tears on. alone, you move get on. all the we points, gotta move honey. On. <laughs> two. Well, that means two points. Congratulations, honey. You got this many points and my love. Okay, we're all very nervous for you. Thank you. Yes, this is a softball. What was my first job ever? Video store. Yes. How old was I? 14. Good answer. Yes. I was 14 years old. Um, it was actually illegal for me to be working there at that age. <laughs> they basically paid me by allowing me to take home as many movies as I wanted, and it was... Unpaid child labor. I think I got a little <laughs> something, a little something on the side. But it was the year 1999, which is now known as one of the greatest, greatest movie movies years of all time. Of time. Matrix. <laughs> Fight, Fight Club, Club being, being John, John Malkovich, Malkovich American, American Beauty, Beauty, American, American Pie, Pie, The Insider. <laughs> One point. One point! How do you know when I'm anxious? There's fidgeting. You know what it is? The most generic. Okay, it's your leg tapping. <laughs> tap, 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 tap. You really? will vibrate the whole couch you do and I will often yes, just. Yes. Put a little. I don't know if that's out of anxiety. That's just a normal fidgety. I think so. You I just was... follow me around the house and I talk about. You. you follow me around the house talking about all the things. It's probably the most talkative you've ever been that's when you're. The answer. <laughs> that's the answer. <laughs> half a point. Half a point. Name my top three favorite directors of all time. Okay, Spike Jones, and that's it. He's probably the one. <laughs> currently that I would love to work with the most. Whose movies? There's two I'm thinking of specifically. We watch their entire filmography almost every year. Almost every year? They both have the same last name. Have the same last name? Oh my God. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna say it and then I'm Paul gonna- Paul Thomas Anderson, Wes Anderson. Oh. <laughs> Honey, you didn't give me enough time. I was on the tip of my-
my tongue. Zero. It was negative, on the tip of my tongue. Of one. course, Paul negative Thomas. One. I was going back. I, we went through our Cronenberg no. phase. I was I was thinking about no, no, no. Negative one. I got Spike Jones so quickly. Negative one. We can all agree there's an unfair point system going on. <laughs> okay, what artist inspired me the most growing up? I actually have an answer for this, and you're not gonna get it. How dare! <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Uh, an author. Roald Dahl. There you go. He thinks I know nothing, and but I know. What specific one thing. books do you think? The witches. Definitely. What's my uh, What's my favorite nickname for you? For me? Yes. How is that not immediately coming off the tip of your? Oh, Beeb. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, Beeb. Correct. One point. Um, this is a. This is existential. Who am I the closest with besides you? Oh, interesting. This is interesting. You have your best friends you've known since you were five mm -hmm. years old. Your high school buds. Mm -hmm. I have my family. Of course, your family. Mm -hmm. Who would you your mom? Who would you pinpoint? I think your mom. I think my mom. Yeah. That's the answer. What did you learn about me during quarantine that you didn't already know? I'm a little scared oh. of this question. I guess I learned that I just don't get sick of you. Yeah. You don't have many annoying qualities, even at maximum amount of time together. You know what my most annoying quality recently is to you? When I'm in the passenger seat and I'm over I know what it is. overreacting to your driving. Look, I grew up in LA. To be fair. I'm a great driver. From my point of view. I'm an aggressive she's driver. She's not a good driver. <laughs> and Dave <laughs> likes <She's> to- <gasps> He does a lot. She's gotten <gasps> much better over the years. In the years. passenger seat. What was the question? I love you. Yeah. Quarantine, quarantine. Oh, that you don't get sick of me. Yeah. Which is great, great answer. That's your first two pointer. <laughs> <laughs> Who made the first move? Me. What was it? After our initial prep. You wanna to talk to the initial prep? <laughs> <laughs> We're in New Orleans at Mardi Gras. We're with my one of my best friends. Mutual friends. Jules, who's a mutual friend, invites Dave to dinner with us. Then at dinner, booze is flowing readily and, and Dave is sitting next to mm -hmm. Jules and Jules texts me. So I check my texts under the table and I have a text from Jules that's like, you should hook up with Dave tonight. And I'm like, yes, please. So little do I know, Jules shows you the text mm -hmm. under the table and is like, Allison across the table, look at this idea. She goes, don't tell her I said anything. I was like, great. I'm but in. you did say, I'm, I'm in. in. Yes. As we're leaving that dinner, mm -hmm. you come up to me and you say, I have some Molly. No, this is at the yes. bar. No, this is no, at no. the bar. No, no. It's we, not we on the way. We did it at the next bar. bar. That was the next bar, not at dinner though. And we I talked about Molly at you, dinner. And I said, I have some Molly, and I think we should split it this and have a great correct. night together. This part is correct. If it's it wasn't, if it theory. wasn't my first time taking Molly, it was one of the first times, and the rest of the night we were. Locked. Face locked. And oh yeah, we have some photo evidence of that. <laughs> then that's the end of the question. What kind of direction do I give you on set? You're great about giving direction because it's minimal. I think most of the time, if anything, it's like less, 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 bring mm -hmm. it down, mm -hmm. like really grounded. You want everything to be very grounded and real. There were so many times where I would I would run over and I would come up to you and before I even got there, you'd be like, I got it. And I'd just kind of turn around and go back to it. <laughs> because secretly then ever at the start of every scene, I try to sneak in one where I get to just do it, do it, do it, do it, do And then I'm like, I know Dave doesn't want me to do that. Me being in a situation like that as an actor where like, you know, you really give it. You get excited. And you're like, oh, it's yes, all here. It's yes. happening. And like the director comes over and he's just like, don't do that. And it's like a little heartbreak and you're like, I'm giving you everything I got, but like you were so great about it. And you were just like, I got it. And then you just ratcheted it back and basically did what I did at the end of your round of questions. Just a little teary eyed. <laughs> All comes back to that moment. Okay. Point. Point, one point, one point. What food will I absolutely never eat? Mayonnaise. And? Anything that is a white creamy sauce. There you go. What is our song? Oh, I Found You by the Alabama Shakes. Yes, yes. And we put an Alabama Shakes song in our movie and uh, a Britney Howard song in our trailer. That's right. Yeah. What's something not obviously sexual that turns me on? Something not, not obviously, obviously sexual, sexual that turns, turns you me on. on. Just like my butt. 
Is that obviously sexual? But like sexual. not in a sexual context. Like my butt, like my bare ass mm -hmm. while I'm brushing my teeth. True. And I've like taken off my sweats, but True. I'm not committed to being in clothes or out of clothes. That's correct. I'm, okay, we're almost done. We're almost I'm done. Blushing. So we're gonna go to the final question. Oh god. What do I like most about you? I'm not gonna cry because I, I because I don't I'm I don't know. Even though you act like you don't like this about me, mm. I think you do like the fact that I never stop talking Definitely. and talk constantly and tell you every single thing about Definitely. my day and yeah. every moment yeah. that, of everything that's going on. I like that a lot. I don't think that's number one. <laughs> I like that a lot. Though. Maybe the number one thing you like about me, my positivity, my optimistic attitude, dancing around the house, keeping energy good and nice. You think so? That's correct. <laughs> is, are your eyes watering? No. Yeah, just like that feeling. You're, you're just like this free thing that's so just infectious and you bring everyone up around you, you make everyone happy, and that's the thing. You got this many points. Pretty no, good. great job. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was, yeah, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. This has been the GQ Couples Quiz. All right. Aww. I'm more in love with you than ever.